Hi there, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm WBZ meteorologist Zach Green with the latest information on what is still major Hurricane Lee now sitting as a Category 4, looking like a buzzsaw as it moves through the Atlantic Basin. Thankfully, right now, out of the way of any land masses, and this is going to be the best news. While this is a dramatic system, as of now, it doesn't seem to have any effect from the lower Antilles, pockets of the Caribbean, but there may see some effects on the later portions of the forecast as we're pushing into next week in pockets of the eastern seaboard of the United States. We've actually lost just a little bit of steam. It really isn't a dramatic drop off, but what was initially a category five with max sustained winds of 165 miles per hour now sits at a category four. It's at the top of the threshold of the category four. To get to a category five, you need max sustained winds of 157 miles per hour. We currently sit at 155, so I think it's only a matter of time before this sort of ebbs and flows between that four and that five parameter. We're still expecting it to remain within that four strength over the course of the next few days. This is the official information from the National Hurricane Center, just a division of the National Weather Service and NOAA. And you notice it's Saturday morning, it's Sunday morning, it's early next week, but these are 24 hour snapshots and we get updates every three hours on a system of this magnitude. So again, it's suggesting four through the official timeline. We may just see it approach that five, if not eclipse it to a point within different areas of that 24 hour window. This again is the uh, cone of uncertainty and you notice that it's going to the north of Hispaniola as we go into the middle of next week. So by the way, get used to the name of this. It is going to be a long standing storm. We have possibly 10, 11, 12 days where this is in the conversation and as a major one at that. So here are the different models that are implementing where this system could ultimately go. It makes a drastic northerly turn, which is for the better. This is an improving sign in comparison to what could happen if it was lining up with the Bahamas and possibly over into the southern side of the Florida Peninsula. With that northerly track, there are different drivers to ultimately force it one way or another another, which is why we get a very large swath of where the final projection could ultimately be. Whether that's going to be up towards Nova Scotia seem to impact us here in southern New England, possibly into the mid Atlantic, or does it take it towards Bermuda and right back out to the North Atlantic and out to sea? That would be the better of the scenarios. More of the effects as it closes in on the eastern side of the United States, and I do think that is probably midweek next week that we'll get a more narrow understanding of where this will ultimately go. The driving forces all Always seem to be two different scenarios. One, a Bermuda high. It will sort of just pinwheel this around. So by Wednesday, it is still focused in on the Lesser Antilles. There's that ridge of high pressure. There is clockwise rotation of winds aloft, helping to sort of wrap this back up in that sea-like formation. What you see out in the Midwest this is an area of low pressure. It has a counterclockwise rotation. If this is going to be the driving force combined with the high pressure, it's going to allow it to move back out to sea. How strong is this wave is going to be the determining factor on how close it will ultimately get to coastal United States, possibly here in southern New England and maybe up into the Canadian Maritime. So we still have a ways to go before we fully understand this system, but it is lining up almost statistically perfect. September 10th is the statistical height of tropical season. We are just two days away from that at this point. So Sunday morning would at least give us that statistical top frame, but hopefully we're going to diminish the concerns from major hurricanes. There is tropical storm Margo a little bit farther off to the east. That's going to remain a fish storm and stay out of our way. All the emphasis obviously going to be on Lee and we will continue to have updates here on WBZ and CBS News Boston.com at any time during the day. So check in there.